What's up? You already know what it is. Today we got dumbbell only back workout. Two rounds. Follow me. Set your watch. Let's get ready. Starting with the warm up. So make sure you got a mat. And we're gonna start by warming up the wrist. So go ahead, and get down. Basically, just gonna move back and forth here. Keep your palms flat. Drive your hips back. Keep your arms straight. Flip your hands around and feel stretch in the forearm. Same thing, same thing, back and forth. Try to keep your palms flat if possible. As you can see here, my forearms are kind of tight. So, loosen up the wrists. First warm up, actually, the only warm up we're doing is push ups. Today, we're doing 12 of everything. Make sure we are going all the way down here, getting that full range. Locking it out at the top, baby. Let's go. Hit 12. Warming up the chest. Warming up the bicep. Warming up the shoulders. Just getting that blood moving. So that we can jump right into this workout today. All you need are dumbbells. I suggest starting light. I have two pairs of dumbbells. I have a 25 pound pair that I'm gonna use for the heavier uh, exercises. And then I have a lighter pair, five pounds, just for uh, flies. All right, so first exercise we got, single arm dumbbell row. Your setup is key. Make sure we got that arm or that other hand on the knee. Just try to lock that arm out. Put all your weight in that front foot. Make sure the back is flat. We're pulling the dumbbell all the way up to your chest. See if you can even touch it to your chest each time. Get that hold at the top, then drop it all the way down. Again, we got 12 reps of everything today. So you don't have to remember how many reps. You got 12 of everything. Remember, the first 10 reps are meaningless. It's always about that last two. Make sure you pull all the way through. Finish strong, get that hold at the top. And the last rep, we're gonna hold at the top as long as you can. Squeeze it out, try to keep the dumbbell touching your chest. Good. Switch it over, other side, getting that same stance. You're gonna be in that lunge position. The reason we're doing single arm, or yeah, single arm row, you're gonna be able to pull a little bit more weight just isolate that muscle a little bit more because we're able to support our opposite side. Again, remember we're in that lunge position, try to lock that arm out, put all the weight in the front foot, make sure your back is flat and your neck is pretty much in line with your back. With each rep, you're not going to get as close to your chest as you want, but try to keep bringing it all the way up. Try to touch your chest every single time. You should end with a dumbbell at your chest. Get that hold at the top if you really, really want to make it work. That's why we're going light today. We're going for that full range. We're going for, uh, you know, doing it the correct way. Again, we got 12 reps. Don't forget to hold that last one. So all the way at the top, we're gonna hold through. Keep that core tight. And nice, easy, right? First exercise done. Next one we got is deadlifts. Deadlifts. Catch your breath real quick. We got 12 here. When you pick them up, make sure we're keeping our back flat even from the ground. So try to squat deep into it. Pick them up, get into your starting position. And we're dropping to just around 90 degrees, just above 90 at the knees. Keep the back flat and keep the weight over the midsole of your foot. The dumbbell should basically be dragging through up your legs and you should be bringing your hips through at the top. At the bottom imagine a leg press so push down through your feet and then at the top just bring your hips through to complete the motion. And nice and tall here, we're working a lot of muscles, it's a really good compound movement. We got the rhomboids, we got the lats working, we got the glutes, we got the hammies, lower back, you know, a little bit of everything, posterior chain. 
all the way through here. 12. Not going for speed today. Easy. Set him down. Take a rest. Deadlifts. All right. So next we're gonna go into bent over rows. So it's up to you if you wanna keep the heavier weight or the lighter weight. Let's see what works. We're gonna get in a uh, hinged over position for the bent over rows. Keeping that back flat. As you pull up on these, imagine like you're pulling up a barbell and try to end with it at your chest. Same as those single arm rows. We want to bring the dumbbells all the way up and through. The top part of that motion is the most important. And again, we're not rushing through uh, the motion. We're ending at the top, making sure we get the contraction, squeezing the shoulder blades back and through. And I'm keeping my core tight so that my lower back is supported and I'm not straining my lower back. A lot of times I see people kind of hunched over with their back curved. So make sure you're pushing your butt back so that your back can be flat. Remember that last rep we're holding through. The weights are going to want to drop and try to keep them tight. Let's go. I would recommend setting the heavier weights to the side grabbing some lighter dumbbells or even doing this next one with even no weights for the first round kind of up to you so second to last exercise we got bent over flies and for reference i'm using five pounds here so i'm going really light just because i want to bring it all the way up and through at the top being able to get that hold without injuring myself all right so just about shoulder width on the feet Maybe a little bit of wider. You don't get into that hinge position. See if you can almost get parallel to the ground on this one. And we're pulling up and apart. Try to keep your arms pretty straight. Slight bend in the elbow. But for the most part, keeping those arms straight. We got 12 reps here. Working the rear delts, a little bit of the traps. Remember, we got that last one we're holding at the top. It's a hard one to do. Keep that core tight, support the lower back, keep the back flat. Good work. Last one today. I'm going to grab the heavier ones. Going into shrugs, focusing on the traps. Trap, trap. <laughs> all right take your rest and we're hitting our shrugs baby all day keeping them close to your body bringing those shoulders nice and high people like to rush through these that's fine but today we're gonna take it slow squeezing up to the ear and right back down nice and controlled we got 12 all the way through bringing that shoulder to the ear Remember, keep that core tight, squeeze the glutes, keep the whole body activated, isolate the traps. 12 all the way up and through, holding at the top each time, control on the way down. Last rep, we're holding as long as we can, so make sure you bring it all the way up. See if you can get about 10 seconds out of it. And you're just gonna release. That's round one. We're gonna do one more round. We're jumping right back into round two. We're gonna add that warm up with those push ups again. Keep the chest active, keep the shoulders alive. Busting them out. We got 12. Get that full range. Get that full range. 12 all day. Straight from the push ups. What do we have next? We got single arm rows. Same thing more weight you put into that other side of the other hand, the more support you're gonna have. So lock that arm out. Get that back leg straight. And try to keep the neck in line with the back. Your goal is to touch the weight to your chest every single time. All the way up and through. 
second round is going to start to get you. You're tired. Pull all the way through. Let's go. You got 12. Keep that chest up. Hold that last rep. Hold it. Hold it. Good work. Quick breather and then switching sides. You got 12 here. Nice control. Locking out that other arm. Get all the way to the front foot. Make sure your back is flat. Pulling all the way through. Touch your chest every single time. Working the traps. Working the lats. A little bit of arms. Don't forget to hold. Get that contraction at the end. 10 second hold, let's go. Good work, good work. Straight back to our deadlifts. I recommend looking in the mirror for these or even taking a video of yourself as reference. See where you're at. See how your position looks from the top to the bottom. Sometimes I see people going a little bit too low. Or even sometimes I see people sitting too far into their heels. See if you can keep that weight right over the midsole. Back flat. Drive through the feet like a leg press at the bottom. And then bring the hips through. Once you get the weights over your knees, just drive those hips forward. Again, compound exercise. Working the rhomboids, the glutes, the ham, hammies, and the core. A couple more. Good. So deadlifts complete. Going right back, bent over rows. Again, we're hinged over. A little bit of a uh, different view here. Keep that back flat. We're not squatting, we're hinged. So drive your hips backwards, weights in the heels, and those dumbbells are keeping you forward and balanced. Again, for 10 like it's a barbell, like you want to pull it all the way up, just touch your chest every single time. Round 2 is definitely harder. Pull all the way through. Don't forget that hold. As long as you can. Quick rest here, and then we're jumping into the flies, bent over flies. Similar position with those lighter weights. Let's see if we can get almost parallel to the ground with your upper body.
if you're a beginner, I recommend doing this workout. Try doing four rounds. After you feel comfortable doing four rounds, increase it. Do five rounds next time, six. Once that starts to get easy, start to increase the weight. Most of us don't have a pole bar at home, so this can be a great workout to see results and actually get stronger. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, link down below. If you enjoyed the music, click the link down below. And I'll uh, put a little playlist on that. Thanks. Catch you next time.